So Tamsin, what makes you optimistic? Well, like Sam, I spent a bit of time thinking about this last night and I realised that, like many of the other panellists, I've probably been optimistic all my life, but I never realised it. And I think the point in my life when I realised it was when we were working in the lab um, back when I worked in the lab as a scientist and someone said to me, how do you deal with the constant disappointment of being a scientist? And I stopped and I thought, what do you mean constant disappointment? <laughs> Everything you do, most of the results are negative. So you're constantly finding out what you thought was wrong. And I stopped and I thought, gosh, I've never thought about it like that. I've always thought that you do something and it then presents another challenge. And you know that wasn't the right way to go, but there's more opportunity. And so I think that was the point when I realised that everything that I look at is optimistic. So for me, finding out that wasn't an answer presents an awesome opportunity to do something else. And, and so really, I think the crux of mine is, is really getting knowledge and solving problems. And in my job now, I would say my favourite part is when a farmer rings me and says, I've got this problem, Tamsin, what am I going to do? And for me to be able to use the resources I've got and not just my brain, but again, like Sarah said, the people around me and the, the network that we've got to solve those problems and to be able to ring that farm back and go, hey, what do you think about this? And, you know, it eventually does solve their problem. That's it. That just keeps me going. So, yeah. Well, it's, it's like Dyson, the vacuum cleaner man. He claimed to do 5,000 iterations of the vacuum cleaner. Yeah. Or 5,001 was the instant success. Yeah. <laughs>